Today, we have great spinal cord injury research news, where we see actual motor recovery. Lineage Cell Therapeutics, based in the USA, is trying to return function by re-insulating damaged nerves. Lineage is currently developing one of the longest-running and most-watched cell therapy programs for spinal cord injury, known as OPC1. Backed by over $14 million in funding from CIRM, California Institute for Regenerative Medicine, this therapy has received RMAT status from the FDA, a designation meant to speed up promising regenerative medicines. But what actually is it? To understand OPC1, you have to understand the body's wiring. In a healthy spinal cord, nerve fibers are insulated by a fatty sheath called myelin, which allows electrical signals to travel efficiently. In many spinal cord injuries, this insulation is stripped away, causing paralysis. OPC1 stands for oligodendrocyte progenitor cells. These are manufactured from human embryonic stem cells. The science is elegant. When injected into the injury site, these cells are designed to turn into oligodendrocytes, the specific cells that make myelin. The goal isn't just to patch the cord, but to re-insulate the nerve fibers and stimulate nerve growth. So, does it work? Lineage has completed two safety trials so far. The most significant was the SCI STAR trial, involving 25 patients with cervical, neck-level injuries. The safety data was strong, no tumors and no serious adverse events attributed to the cells over many years. But the functional data was what grabbed headlines. In the subacute group, 67% of patients gained at least one motor level of improvement. For a quadriplegic patient, gaining one motor level isn't just a number. It can mean the difference between needing 24-7 care and being able to feed yourself, write, or use a wheelchair independently. Patients like Jake Javier and Chris Block, who participated in the trials, reported regaining significant use of their arms and hands. That brings us to right now. As of 2025, Lineage has launched the DOST study. They are testing a new delivery device developed with Nergain technologies. It allows surgeons to inject these cells into the spinal cord without stopping the patient's breathing, a massive safety improvement for cervical surgeries. Crucially, this new trial is expanding the scope. While previous trials focused on fresh injuries, the DOST study is looking at chronic patients as well, people who have been injured for one to five years. This is a major step forward for the SCI community. A quick reality check, OPC1 is still experimental. It requires invasive neurosurgery and immunosuppressant drugs. It is not currently a cure that restores walking, but rather a therapy aimed at restoring critical upper body independence. However, as the first embryonic stem cell therapy to be transplanted into humans with this level of follow-up, Lineage is blazing a trail. We are watching the DOSED study closely to see if those functional gains can be replicated in chronic injuries. I'll have my fingers crossed, metaphorically at least. Be sure to like and subscribe to follow the latest SCI research news. Drop me a comment of anything you'd like investigating. Keep well, and thanks for watching.